akatoka nje nikamkutana kwa mlango akanishika akanipeleka kwa nyumba yake kwa kitanda akanitoa nguo zote akaanza kufanya kenya anafanya sasa venye alifanya na jaribu kupiga ndura na niziba mdomo hasa akamaliza kaniambia hivi tu sisemu kisema etu nitakuua Nancy not her real name has been undergoing sexual abuse from her uncle in silence since she was in class 2 to date and now she is in class 6. Nikwanga nimefanya makosa. Sasa nikaogopa viboko. Nikaenda kulala kwake. Ndio mama akanitafuta nikakosa. Akakuja akanipata shule ndio nikapeleka ofisini kachapa kaniambia hivi tu nalalanga wapi nikamwambia hizo zote ndio nijulikana after suspicion from her mother and various interrogations it was discovered that she got paid by the said uncle to constantly go to his house and was scared to tell anyone akasema mimi acha niwaambie ukweli kisi wawe ananipeanga pesa alafu anaenda kunifanyia tabia mbaya nikamuuliza amekupea pesa mara ngapi akasema nikamuuliza ni wewe tu mwenyewe ndio unaenda kwa hiyo boma akaniambia hapana mama acha nikwambie kuna mtoto mwingine mwenye tunaenda naye it is a sad situation as her mother narrates not only has the daughter been abused sexually she is now hiv positive kwenda polisi wakanijaze nikatasa pitiri yake akaniandikia nikatoa statement nikaandika nikamaliza akanitolea walitoa barua zake zote juu alinipea barua saba akanituma kwa nini kwa ofisi ya watoto nikaenda pia nikajaza hiyo barua nikajaziwa nikapewa nilipopelekwa mtoto daktari alipompima akawa anasema ni uongo hajawahi fanya nini hajawahi tumika huyo mtoto tulipofika pale kwa daktari alipompima daktari akasema ah huyo hata ameshafanya kama mke wake tu hata ameshazoeana na yeye tulipopeleka mtoto kupimo hali yake kapata ameshamwambikiza ugonjwa That's where Nancy's journey to taking ARVs began at the age of 13. Nikauliza sasa yu mtoto mdogo kiasi. Mimi mama yake mimi simezi dawa. Baba yake hamezi dawa. Akaniambia mama usipoanza hiyo dawa mtoto atakufa. The road to justice for the young girl seemed impossible for the family considering their dire financial situation as well as constant threats from the suspect. Kana piga hesabu sasa mtu nitamshika aje nitatoa wapi pesa ni hata nitaweza shika yeye juu. Polisi ukienda wanakuambia lete pesa, lete pesa. Nikafanya chuo chini nikatafuta huyo mtu. Maaskari nikawaambia mtu yuko hapa. Akaja kama mara sita hivi wakimwacha. Wanakuja wanampata lakini wanamwacha. Ikafikia sasa wakati yule mtu tena alichukua panga, akanoa panga vizuri. Akakuja kwamba anataka akate mzee wangu sasa. Auwe mzee na mimi pia ni uwe. Nipasa hicho kesi kifanye nini kisiendelee. Nitafanya nini? Ukweli ilifikia sehemu yenye nilikata tamaa hata nikaona sina usaidizi wowote ule. Sasa kwa sababu naona serikali yenyewe ndio inaweza saidia mtoto, lakini inanipiga machenga tu. In counties like Migori where GBV prevalence is high such a case is just one in hundreds that go unreported GBV advocates say there is a need for proper budget implementation mechanisms in the counties to help counter the vice we cannot work on reduction every other time you know we cannot keep on reducing the budget while you know money follow functions and if function on SGBV is one thing that takes place in 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 every year how do we how do i a legislator a representative of the people i know my people are in korea east and west how do i zero rate how, do, how, how in my normal senses how do i zero rate a budget now that migori county is one of uh, the key places that uh, fgm and sgbv is is on the rise within uh, within the county uh, within the country we continue to push for the different uh, reproductive and right health challenges that young people are going through and in inclusive meaningful youth engagement or overtime for nancy she lives to fight another day as she goes on with her studies despite being discriminated and bullied in school by her peers wana nitukana na wapeleka kwa mwalimu ti wana nitukana hiveti etu kona ugonja hata sitaki kwa na wewe mimi nilikuwa ninapenda watendee mtoto wangu haki sababu kama saa hii huyo mtu aliwekewa bondi akatoroka nikifika pale kotini 
wananiambia hivi mama kitu utafanya sehemu yenye utasikia huyo mwalifu wako wewe utatupigia simu tuambie tumfuate sasa mimi najaribu kuwauliza mimi nilishika mwalifu nikaleta hapa umemwaachilia na mikono yenu ameenda mimi nitampata wapi tena nimrudishe huko Gender based violence not only affects the victims but has been cited as a menace at derailing the gains made in fighting retrogressive practices. Robbie Omondi K24